Victor Hugo out of Six Blades also coming into this match with two fights and two submissions. One double gold at the 2023 Worlds this year. And this is a match everyone was looking forward to coming into this 2023 IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix. You can feel the electricity in the air for this one. Dude, I am hype. And it gets a ring announcement. Oh my gosh, this is going to be insane. Nicholas Marigali in the blue key. Victor Hugo in the white key. The energy in this room is palpable. Victor pulls guard. Tried going for some foot sweeps early. Early on, gets this daily Heva set up. Has the pan grip with his right arm. And Marigali immediately breaking the grip on the collar. Something I feel like is so important against a competitor like Victor Hugo. Victor's corner is telling him he can come up on the single leg. Nicholas stepping over that left leg of Victor Hugo. Victor with the sleeve grip and the pant grip. Very dangerous guard known for what he calls big man flow. Amazing movement for an athlete of his size. It's really remarkable to watch Victor Hugo play guard. And it's interesting to see how patient Marigali is on top as well. And both are very patient competitors, able to make, to flip a switch, of course, at any second, but just to see the intricacies of the passing versus the guard play. Nicholas stepping over the leg, and this really is jiu-jitsu at the absolute highest level. Nicholas double gold at the pans this year. Victor Hugo double, golds at, double gold at the Worlds. Both these guys in the best moments of their career, without a doubt. Now on the outside, Nicholas Maragalli give, being given a little more leeway to work, it seems. Just as I say that, Victor Hugo is trying to throw that deep Delahiva. Yeah, deep Delahiva. Looked like he was trying to go for the deep Delahiva X, a position Nicholas uses quite a bit. Now it looks like he's going to try to stand up. He's got that grip on the leg, trying to connect his hands. Victor coming up to his knees. Nicholas sprawling back, trying to make sure Victor can't finish this sweep. Victor sits back down to the guard position. Uh-oh. Gets to the X guard underneath the leg of Nicholas Marigali. And Victor Hugo being able to get to his 50-50 would, would be a very good spot for him. He's got a great knee bar attack from there. His just knowledge of the 50-50 is so powerful. In that 50-50 almost waiter style position, underhooking the leg with his right arm. Now he's stretching oh, Nicholas go. out. Let's see if he can come up. Nicholas disengages. Now he Nicholas pulls guard. And in, in the stylistic matchup between Victor Hugo and Nicholas Marigali, we've seen them in this position a lot, right? We've seen Victor Hugo on top in Nicholas Marigali's closed guard. He's got a very patient approach to passing the closed guard. Plenty of time to work. Seven minutes left. Jake, I'd like to get your take on this, but I feel like Nicholas and Victor both have similar philosophies, always moving forward, very submission-oriented, but different games. Nicholas just uses different techniques to express that same philosophy. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think Victor, when he says big man flow, it really is sort of an uncanny. You're looking at a man who's like 250 pounds, and he's moving like he's 180, you know, and it's, it's just very, very impressive. Whereas Marigali, you can tell, especially the influence that Danaher's had on him, just really trying to optimize and systemize the gi. And I think that that's what we're seeing is just this constant improvement in confidence on the mat, off the mat. It's very interesting to see the development of these two athletes. Yeah, they got great results early in their black belt career, but like you said, they've continued to evolve as black belts. And I think that's why they're the two best athletes in the world right now. Nicholas with that cross collar grip with his left hand, sleeve grip. We've talked about how dangerous he is from here. Victor's corner telling him to put his knee down as soon as Nicholas tries to get that lasso leg in the middle. Nicholas likes to use that lasso both to sweep and to get under the leg. Yeah. 
Nicholas looked like he was going to try to go for the Omoplata there as Victor circled his hand out of the lasso. Yeah, he continues to throw that attack. Victor's corner wants him to focus on good posture. They know how dangerous Nicholas is from this bottom position. Victor doing a great job so far. This match all tied up, no points. Both athletes have one penalty. And we are coming right up on the halfway point in this 2023 IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix Final. Nicholas still in the close guard position. Trying to get that hand deep in the collar. Yeah, just a little four minutes, 30 seconds left in this one, all tied up. Nicholas trying to circle that left arm inside the right hand grip that Victor Hugo has in the armpit. Nicholas Sweep by Nicholas. He comes up, trying to get the seatbelt grip on Victor Hugo. Victor recovers. Nicholas scores two points for the sweep. Victor trying to get a sweep of his own here. Gets to that single leg X position. Has the grip on the pancreas. Has the pancreas with his right hand. Great balance on top out of Nicholas Maragalli. Victor in a good position to sweep now. Got Nicholas's right leg up on his shoulder. As I believe what looks like a bear, bear trap position with his legs. Yeah, a lot of people call that. We've seen uh, Felipe Pena use this position to great success on multiple occasions. Victor's corner wanting him to put pressure with his legs in that bear trap position and continue to off-bounce Nicholas Marigali. And that's exactly what he's doing. Using his legs, rocking back and forth. He's gonna try to come up on top and even the score. And he might be able to in this position. Oh my goodness! Victor trying to come up. Got that grip over the back with his right arm. Great recovery by Nicholas. They're gonna reset back in the center. Gotta love the energy here, Jake. My goodness. This is what a lot of the fans were very excited to see and they're getting it. We've talked about Jiu Jitsu Con and how amazing of an event that this has been this weekend. 10,000 competitors, we got the IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix and we got the final that a lot of people were really looking forward to. The 2023 World's Double Gold Champion, Victor Hugo, taking on the Double Gold Pan Champion from 2023, Nicholas Marigali. Nicholas currently leading this match 2-0. Two minutes and 35 seconds left. This is the 2023 IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix Final. A lot of fans were wondering if Nicholas Marigali was going to get penalized under the IBJJF rule set right there. Nicholas pulls guard again. He was able to sweep last time he pulled guard. Spent some time in this closed guard position earlier. Nicholas going right back to that cross collar grip, switches sides. I, was, I could be wrong, but it looks like Nicholas is even talking a little bit to Victor Hugo out there. Less than two minutes left. Nicholas Mergali leading this match 2-0 over Victor Hugo. He's got an overhook now. Victor takes his arm out, stands up. Victor's corner wants him to break away from Nicholas's guard and then go. There he goes, he breaks away. Let me see. See if we can see some movement here from Victor Hugo. Minute. 20 seconds. Oh, 
Victor starting to move now. Trying to step over that right leg of Nicholas Marigali, but Nicholas has such good control of that sleeve. Keeps trying to step over. Now he's One over the minute. leg. One minute left. Victor Hugo moving to the side. Putting pressure on Nicholas Marigali. Oh, really trying to make it happen. Crowd is going wild here. Victor Hugo trying to advance position. 40 seconds. Victor really needs to make something happen. Nicholas doing a great job on bottom, maintaining his guard, making it so difficult for Victor to advance his position. And now, 20 seconds. Gonna be so tough for Victor to make something happen here with such little time. Nicholas pulls him into the guard. Five seconds left, and Nicholas Marigali is the IBJJF Grand Prix absolute champion. Beautiful win and performance by Nicholas Marigali. Three fights, two submissions, gets the points victory over absolute world champion of 2023, Victor Hugo. And Nicholas Marigali, 2023 IBJJF absolute Grand Prix champion. Take a look at this replay, Danny. Right here, such a tough spot for, for Victor Hugo to let go and, and lose the position and end up in the closed guard where he spent a lot of time. There's this the sweep, sweep from Nicholas Marigali. Beautiful stuff from his lasso guard. Gets his foot in the middle, off balances Victor, comes up on top, establishes top position, scores his two points. And that was the name of the game for Nicholas Marigali. Ladies and gentlemen, your IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix champion out of New Wave Jiu-Jitsu, Nicholas Marigali! Nicholas Marigali, your 2023 IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix champion, gets his first place, place plaque and his check for $40,000. Victor Hugo also had a great performance in this event. Second place, $8,000. Victor Hugo had three fights, two submissions. And you could tell how much respect Victor Hugo and Nicholas had for one another. Incredible performance from both of them. Nicholas is your champion. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your absolute Grand Prix champion, Nicholas Marigali. Nicholas, tell us how much this victory means to you. Uh, well, I didn't fight the World Championship. This is, some, this is the event that I'm not competing anymore in my career, so I got two titles already, two in my way division one in the open class. I think that is enough, to be honest. And Victor Hugo won, he had incredible performance at the Worlds, and he would compete the Grand Prix. So the IBJF guys, they invited me to be here, and I was looking for that fight as a chance to pretty much proved to people that if I had competed at Worlds, I would get a double goal again, the same thing that it did at Pens, and it is what it is. So it was a good weekend for sure. So you've been tossing your hat in the gi, you've been tossing it in the no gi, you've been competing all over. What was the preparation like going straight from a no gi match right into the gi? Tell me a little bit about what the training camp was like for this one. So the training camp was, was uh, terrible, I would say. So I was uh, trying to market the fights, and I think I did a good job, but at the same time, it was hard for me to keep my training schedule, because when I fought Kaina two and a half weeks ago, any fighter, he knows what I'm, uh, they know what I'm saying, so we always feel a crush after the fight. It's hard to keep it up the schedule. It's hard to train hard. Everything is more difficult, because you, you, you feel so, so many emotions, so it's hard to, keep the pace high, so I struggled a little bit to do the camp. I also, I got two submissions, so I performed kind of well, but at the same time it was hard to make the transition too fast, only with two weeks, and adapt the grip. So this fight, for example, I was struggling a little bit because he was uh, trying to drag me to fifth fifth, something that we don't, don't do much in Ogi, and I felt kind of lost. I had two chance on top to capitalize, get chest to chest, but I didn't train enough to that tournament, but 
This is what it is. We had a good performance, I would say. Not great, but good. So, where can people see you next? So, I don't have any match on uh, schedule yet, but definitely I'm looking for something in the gi uh, in a super fight organization. So let's see how it goes. So I just want to compete more in the gi. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. The champion, your champion, Nicholas Maragalli. <laughs> Nicholas Maragalli takes home the IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix title. The $40,000 check, and what a great performance from Nicholas.